Hey guys, it's John here, Sub-Zero Gaming. Uh, today what we're going to cover is layer masks. Okay, so what is a layer mask? A layer mask in computer science is an integer that uses 32 bits to represent different flags. These flags are turned on. So when one of the flags is turned on, that becomes the layer that's activated. So, for example, why would we use layer mask or when is it relevant? Say you have a spawn manager, or you maybe you have like 30 different types of enemies, and you only want to be able to shoot enemies, not civilians. What you would do is you would assign a layer mask to those enemies. You would create a layer and assign it to those enemies, like maybe an enemy layer. Um, the only one you want the ray to work on would be the enemy layer. If the ray gas hits anything else that's not the enemy layer, it does nothing. Or maybe you have instructions for it to do something else. All right. Um, so let's look at what a 32-bit layer is. A 32-bit layer is obviously 32 bits, and it looks like this. I spread them out so it's more readable, but what I have here is 32 zeros, okay? And it starts from right to left, so it's going to start bottom right here and go to the left here. All right, there's 32 digits here, and what you do is if you want to activate a layer, or if you want to check to see if you're on a certain layer, you basically replace one of these zeros with a 1 and that says I want to use this layer. So what am I talking about with these layers? Well, in Unity, what you have here in the top right corner is a layers dropdown, and I want you to go ahead and click on that and go to edit layers. And you'll see here that you have 32 layers. Why do you have 32 layers? And it's not 31, it is 32, numbers start at zero. So why do we have 32 layers? Well, we can use them in our games. Uh, and you'll notice here that there are numbered zero through 31, and you can even add your own layers. So say you want to add in an enemy layer. All right? And go ahead and also add in a player layer. Okay? So I have two layers, and I only want my raycast to work on the enemy layer. If I shoot a player, or if I shoot someone that has a layer of player, like maybe if I'm playing Call of Duty, I can't do friendly fire, nothing will happen. So how can we make this work? We create two layers, and notice that I'm using using layer 8 and using layer 9. So if I wanted to activate layer 8, how would I do that? I would basically come over here and I would count out the 8th layer. So numbers start at 0. So you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And actually this would be the 8th one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And layer, remember, numbers start at 0, so that's the 8th layer. So what I would do is I would replace this with a 1. And now my raycast is checking for uh, layer 8. If I wanted to check for layer 9, I would replace this one and put a 1 here. And you can check for multiple layers, that's okay. If I wanted the 32nd layer, I would replace come up here and put a 1 there. So how do we do this in code? Well, let's go ahead and create a ray script, uh, like a, a ray, I'm sorry, a raycast script. Uh, if you're not familiar with raycasting, go ahead and watch one of my videos on raycasting and you'll get caught up to speed. Um, what I have here is a program that allows me to select each one based on the mouse position. And when I click on an object, it turns green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a layer, and I only want it to work on whichever one's the enemy. So if I click on a player, it shouldn't turn green. So watch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on object A, and I'm going to go ahead and say that's going to be the player. So I'm going to go down here where it says layer and it's default. I'm going to change it to player, and I'm going to go to object B, and I'm going to set it to enemy. Now, just by doing that, nothing's going to happen, right? I can still select both of them to be green. So what we need to do is, in our, in our ray casting, you'll notice that you have one of 12 options. So obviously, I've already gone ahead and had this pre-made out. But what I have here is I am casting a ray when I left click from the, uh, from the mouse position on the screen. All right, nothing new here. Uh, and you'll see here that all I'm doing is casting a ray cast from the ray origin, which is the mouse position. I'm outputting the hit info, which wherever I hit is stored there, and then I'm shooting the ray 100 distance. But what if I only want this raycast to work on a certain layer of enemies? So you'll notice that we have one of 12 options with raycasting. And if we look through this, you'll see something named int layer mask. So how do we use this? You'll see here that I'm using origin, direction, float distance, int layer mask. But actually that's not the one I'm using, I have an output, so let's find that one. Okay, here you go. So it's 11 of 12. I have a ray, I have a ray origin, I'm putting hit info, I have a distance of 100, and I want to use a layer mask. So it's asking for an int value. So what do I need to put there? I need to put a 32-bit 
layer mask specifying which layer I want to use. So I'm checking for the enemy layer. So um, on the enemy layer, let's go back to Unity. And on the enemy layer, what number is that? If I go to the layers here, edit layers. All right, so I'm looking for layer 8, okay? And that's the enemy, so layer 8. So what I need to do is I need to place a 1, okay? I need to place a 1 where the 8th index is. So if I put these back to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? This is going to be 8. So a 1 should be placed here, okay? And to do this, what we need to do is because it starts over here, we need to basically what's called bit shift, eight units to the left. And the, to, to do that, we have a symbol that looks like this. It's two less than greater signs. So the syntax for this, guys, is we need to place a one, and we're going to bit shift that one eight binary units. All right? So remember, computer language is a zero and ones. So we're going to say take the 32-bit integer and go from the first element down to the eighth one and place a one there. So by typing that exactly, if I go ahead and save this, it's going to check for the eighth layer and it's only going to work on, on objects that are placed on that layer, which is the enemy. So if I click the player, nothing happens. If I click the enemy, it turns green. Now, this can be a little bit confusing. Um, also, if I wanted, what if I wanted both the layers? Say I wanted layer eight and nine. Obviously, I can remove the layer entirely. But what if I have other, you know, objects in place? I can say bit shift over eight, and then I can use the or symbol, which is this, and you can say also or bit shift nine. Okay, and actually I think I have one more there, and actually it doesn't like that. So let's figure out how do we bit shift multiple. And actually, you know what, guys? I think it's just or nine. Yeah. So we're gonna say. Place a 1 at 8 and 9. We use the OR symbol, but it's 8 or 9, okay? So it's checking for layers 8 or 9. So if I go ahead and save this, and I go back to Unity, let's go ahead and click on both of these. i got to fix that. If it's, okay, so it doesn't like that. So let's figure out why it doesn't like that. How do I use multiple layers? I wonder if it's only one OR. Let's try that. Okay, so it's one or, so not two. And if I click the player, nothing happens. Click the enemy, that still works. All right, so let's figure out why that happened. Uh, maybe I need to also bit shift. So place a one, bit shift nine. Let's go ahead and try that. And there you go, that worked. Okay, cool. And that means I could probably add back my actual or statement which would be two of these, and that should also work. Okay, no, just kidding, guys. That doesn't work. doesn't like that. So you use the just one spacing. So basically what we're telling you to do is check for layers 8 and also check for layers 9. So this equivalent to this, if I make these all zeros again, what we're telling it to do is we are going to place a 1 at layer 8 and layer 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this becomes a 1. And 9 becomes a 1. Pretty simple, right? So this still could be a little complicated. And how can we make it even simpler? Well, let me show you. Say you're looking for on your Raycast. And my Raycast is attached to the main camera. I have a script here. So I'm looking for... Um, one second, guys. Let me save this. Okay, so I am looking for just those layers, right? Or maybe just one layer for now. I'm looking for the enemy layer. I only want it to affect, I don't really want to do it the bit shift way. Maybe it's a little complicated, so how else can I do it? Well, let's look at this. I have a script here attached to my main camera. What if I created a layer mask variable? So I'm going to go ahead and say public layer mask, all right? And then give it a name, you know, my layer or enemy layer maybe. So enemy layer. Go ahead and save that. And go ahead and click on your main camera where your script is, and it's going to say here, enemy layer. And what I do is I assign the enemy layer. Now what I do is I go back into my script, and instead of this bit shift, um, you know, bit shift operator, and if you're not comfortable with that, I only want my Raycast to work on my enemy layer. So how can I do it? I can simply type the variable name I, I created, enemy layer, in dot value. And what that does is that gets the value that's stored in the inspector. So if you're not comfortable with bit shift, 
Just create a public layer mask variable, assign the layer in the inspector, come back here and type enemy layer dot value, and it gets whatever layer is assigned. So now if I run this, I can no longer shoot the player, but I can still shoot the enemy. All right, guys, this is my video on layer masks. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment, rate, you know, subscribe, you know the deal. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.